Hey guys, it's Master Turtle, and this is Playmates TMNT Elite Collection, which basically dropped out of nowhere today. And these are my thoughts. Welcome to the dojo. Now at first glance, why are there bandanas all red, you may ask? That is because these are based on the original comic book turtles, uh, or as we call the Mirage Turtles, and they were all red bandanas, and you could only tell the difference by looking at their weapons and reading the dialogue. If you knew, if you knew their personality, you should be able to tell, generally. Um, this line has a couple issues. First I see is the proportions are a little weird. I don't like the colors. The dark green and the light yellow just looks so weird. And unfortunately, I thought Playmates did a better job uh, previously. They released a small version of these guys with the right proportions, but these colors. They also had an unreleased set, which is right here. Um, you can tell that these guys look really cool, and I wish I had a set of these. They look amazing. The proportions are much better and closer to the comic book counterparts, maybe uh, more of the later issues of the original Mirage comics. Um, however, the reason why these exist was due to, I guess, um, a loophole that Mirage Comics and NECA Toys, which is a, quite a famous toy company, where they were able to uh, release and create a set of Mirage Turtles where they could only release them in the comic book shops. They were not allowed to make them available for mass retail because Playmates was the one who was responsible for the mass retail version. Now, if you look, this set is a highly sought after set. People love this set of turtles, and you can tell that there was a lot of quality paint that went into it, and generally people think that these guys are some of the best versions of the turtles in general. Um, however, for Playmates Toys, I don't know why they're releasing, you know, the, this set that we're looking at rather than the set that they had cancelled, because the set was supposed to be a retaliation against Naked Toys. Instead, they're releasing this repaint of the classic collection. Now, this is a picture of my collection, and I have them hanging on my wall. Uh, in general, I think they're okay, but they definitely had a lot of QC issues, and there's things that I didn't like about them. Their belt buckles, their straps, their um, overall arms not being able to move properly without me slicing with a modeler's knife so that I could loosen the paint that, that was on them. Um, and of course the eyes. They were definitely um, not good with the eyes. This is Derpatello. This is my favorite Derp. And he just looks amazing. And, and of course, I bought a set that I repainted and I really wanted to give them that look of the cartoon. Um, and also, I gave I gave a little spin of my own, uh, I guess, head cannon, thinking, okay, well, how can I make these guys look better? Maybe closer to the SH Figure Arts version. So, I literally went through, repainted their belt buckles, repainted all their weapons except for Donatello's. Um, you can tell that there, there there's some quality time that went into redoing the eyes, so there's no derps anymore. And of course, I also did the back. Of their shells which you'll see very soon and in general I thought that Playmates usually has really good sculpts it's just that their paintwork is not great mostly for cost savings so the brown was the original color and I added this a sand looking color um, in general I think that these toys just look uh, they just don't look quite right and I don't know why they wouldn't consider releasing something that people have been wanting which is more characters in this classic collection line. Um, in the classic collection, I think the main uh, the mainstay was one. This has way more articulation than their normal toys. I think it's advertised to have 25 points of articulation or, or something along those lines. And you can tell that each of the fingers and the toes are articulated. There's a lot of joints and there's, there's a way to replace the heads. I thought that they were on the right track, but for some reason after I think three waves, they decided to give up. And right now, I don't know why they're doing this. I would consider this, I guess, a way four. But where's Shredder? Where's Krang? Where's April? Where's Casey? If they made these other figures, I think people would have given them the benefit of the doubt. Do you know why? Because Super 7 is releasing $50 versions of <laughs> these toys, and they know that people want these other characters. I, I don't understand why Playmates is playing so safe, because their license agreement, 
I don't know what state it's in right now, but maybe they should take a risk. Um, if they want to keep the license, I think they should probably release something that people are after. And I would recommend maybe a classic collection version of the Shredder or a classic collection version of Krang so that people are like, wow, I believe in Playmates toys. However, unfortunately, I don't. Although I pre-ordered a set of these, I feel like Playmates toys, their best bet is to stay in their lane and continue to release any of the new series Ninja Turtles, they can maybe revisit um, the 2003 series because there's literally no figures of them. Maybe they can do some collector's versions of those because I'm missing that in my collection. I have the original set, but I think the 2003 Turtles is where they could shine and then they could release more accurate comic book versions of the Turtles with those sculpts rather than try to retool these ones which definitely don't fit. And unfortunately for me, I'm sitting here thinking I like Playmates toys, but this release I'm, I'm not sure about and I don't know what the company is thinking. I would hope that they're looking at fans, but I think they're really looking at bottom line right now. So would you rather support Playmates toys? I think if they keep releasing retro figures, yeah, but I, I don't know about these repaints and these... Uh, I, I don't know what they mean by previews. Does that mean there's more coming? If there's more, I'd be interested in seeing what they have to offer. Um, but right now, Super 7's at the $50 price point in USD. Um, NECA has maybe the $20, $30 uh, price point in terms of the uh, smaller figures. And then Playmates is left with Rise of the TMNT, which I think the line's now cancelled. And they have nothing on the horizon until either a new series comes out or uh, they decide to go back and revisit any of their old series. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm hoping that they do something a little better. And please like, comment, subscribe. And I'm hoping to do more videos in the future, which talks about toys. So, Master Turtle signing out.